Now I do wear colour, but not often. I normally stick to wearing outfits made up of neutral tones. And when I say neutral tones, I mean the colours that don't appear on a traditional colour wheel, like black, white, grey, beige and khaki, and I also classify navy and denim as a neutral colour as well. In this video, I want to talk about why neutral tones are so important when it comes to styling, and how they make things a lot easier. This is a video that I've been meaning to make and wanting to make for a long time now, so hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, please do drop the video a like at any point. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the first point. Neutral tones don't clash with one another, so you can mix and match any pieces in your wardrobe together, and you're gonna have a look that looks well put together. And if you do choose to wear a pop of color somewhere in your outfit, then these neutral pieces are gonna complement that item rather than clash with it. So basically what I'm saying is they work with anything. So having your wardrobe made up of mainly neutrals, it opens up a lot more styling possibilities with the same pieces. So for example, if you've got a pair of black trousers and a pair of gray trousers, and then a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a gray t-shirt, and a navy t-shirt, then you've got six items of clothing and you could create eight different combinations from those six items of clothing. Basically just pair either of the trousers with any of the t-shirts. But now let's throw an overshirt for example into the mix. By pairing the overshirt with what we've already got, so by pairing it with either of the trousers or any of the t-shirts, that's another eight combinations that we've got to work with. Now let's swap out the overshirt for an overcoat for example, that's another additional eight combinations we've got to play with. Then by layering the overshirt underneath the overcoat, that's another eight combinations to play with. So that's now 32 different combinations that we've got from eight items of clothing. So you can see how quickly things scale by having a wardrobe made up of pieces that all work together. Yes, these might not be the most exciting outfits, but they act as a foundation to build upon. You can start adding things like accessories, different textures to your looks as well, to make the looks more interesting. <laughs> I know I use this example a lot in my videos, but a pair of black trousers and a white t-shirt always looks good. It looked good in the 80s, it looked good in the 90s, and it still looks good today. So by having a wardrobe made up of these kinds of pieces, you don't have to worry about trying to keep up with trends because you're always gonna look on trend. This is why I would suggest that you invest in good quality pieces when it comes to timeless basics, because they're items of clothing that you're gonna wear over and over again for years to come. The better the quality, the longer these pieces are gonna last you, meaning the less you're gonna to have to spend on replacing them in the long run. Also, these simple pieces suit anyone at any age, no matter what style you're into, so it's never too early to start investing into them. They're items that you can grow with. <laughs> The next reason I love to wear neutral tones is because outfits made up of them look the sharpest in my opinion. Whenever I'm dressing up for a smart occasion, which is not that often to be honest, but whenever I am dressing up for a smarter occasion, I always reach for neutral tones because they give you a more dressed up look. There's also a reason why tuxedos are in neutral colors and most suits are in neutral colors, because they look smart. Some people also think that simple neutral basics are boring items of clothing and that loud in your face patterns are more exciting. And although this might be the case initially, the novelty of those louder items definitely wears off quickly. This is because those louder items, they stand out a lot more, they're a lot more memorable, and therefore you get bored of wearing them a lot quicker. Also, no matter what you pair with these louder items, you kind of get the same look over and over again because the focus is always on those louder items. Also, the louder a piece of clothing, the more people are gonna remember that item of clothing, meaning if you wear it two or three times, people are gonna think that you never change your clothes. And we don't want that, we don't wanna come across as a stinky individual. So even though people say that basic neutrals are boring, it's actually the louder pieces of clothing that people get bored of the quickest because there's a lot less you can do with them. And yeah, they stand out a lot more. Have you ever taken notice of the sales section in your favorite store? It's always the clothing in the craziest colors or with the craziest patterns that make it into the sale because far less people want these kinds of items for all the reasons we've already talked about in this video. Neutrals hold their value a lot more, they're a lot more desirable, and you see them in the sales a lot less because of this. So if you ask someone who likes to sell on their clothing, neutrals most of the time will hold their value a lot better than louder pieces of clothing. Some people use loud and brighter pieces to hide behind. 
They wear the latest hyped up pieces, whack them all on all at once into one outfit and think that they've got a fashionable look because of it. Sadly, this isn't the case the majority of the time. Now I've got nothing against hyped clothing, I really don't. But when you take away the bright colours and the patterns and you're just left with a neutral, simple piece of clothing, then you really start to focus on the cut and the quality of that clothing a lot more. The cut and the quality of a piece of clothing can really make or break an outfit in my opinion and it's one of the most important things to get right when it comes to style. A good quality, well tailored, neutral outfit speaks volumes in my opinion and sometimes a lot louder than big in your face colours and patterns and in my opinion it's unbeatable. If you want to know how to get started on building your own wardrobe in neutral colours then I've already got a video on the channel that teaches you exactly how to do that so feel free to check that out. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to give the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya.